What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Do I even have to say it? We're back. Yet again, bring you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a cool team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with the Gen 4 Starter Torterra alongside Life Orb Scissor, and we got Super Luck Togekiss. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. Seriously, we upload every day over here. We got tons of content. Hit that subscribe button so you know every single time I upload. But uh, yeah, we're rocking out with Torterra today. And I only use him once in the past. And he is tons of fun to use. Very bulky Pokemon in the defensive field. And it can hit very, very hard on the physical side. So cannot wait to hop into the Coliseum and try to get some wins with this Pokemon. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Torterra over here. We got the leftovers as its item. So you know it can recover HP at the end of every single turn. And the move set we're rocking with is going to be Leech. Seed, Earthquake, Wood Hammer, and Protect. That gives us two heavy hitting stab moves. Leech Seed to set up HP recovery and Protect just to waste out turns and keep that HP funneling in for this Pokemon. Cannot wait to get this Pokemon set up. Hopefully we get that, the Leech Seed rolling and just keep this guy in the battle forever. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Intimidate Arcanine over here. And this Arcanine set is, in my opinion, the best set for him in this game. It's Flamethrower, it's Snarl, it's will o and Protect. We get the heavy hitting stab move with Flamethrower, we get the special attack drops with Snarl, and then we got the physical attack burning with will o -Wisp. It just works so well. It is just amazing at controlling the battle and controlling Pokemon left and right, so you cannot go wrong with it. The item that we're holding for this guy is going to be that Guap Berry, so when we fall below 1 4th HP, we're going to go back up to about half. So it's really good for this Pokemon to stay in the battle a little bit longer and pester that attack slash special attack drops. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be a heavy hitting physical attacker, and it's going to be Scissor over here. You guys already know plenty about Scissor. Definitely one of the best physical attackers in this game. We gave it the Life Orb alongside with the Technician ability, and the moveset is fairly normal with X Scissor. Bullet Punch, Sword Stance to set up, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be another Intimidate Pokemon, another great physical attacker as well. We got Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Protect on this lovely little character. Obviously, Intimidate as its ability. Then the item we are rocking is going to be the Lumberry. Usually, I like to go with the Life Orb, but since Scissors holding that, I think Lumberry is definitely a solid second choice for any Gyarados or any physical attacker. Because, you know, if you burn a physical attacker, they're pretty much in the dumps, unless they have Guts as their ability. But if you burn a Gyarados, he won't do anything for the rest of the battle. So, Lumberry could definitely come up clutch in certain situations. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be my girl over here, Togekiss. Love this Pokemon so much. Really good uh, support Pokemon and really good heavy hitting as well with this uh, ability and item. We got the Scope Punch as the item. We're rocking Super Luck as its ability, so you know crits are going to be through the roof. And then we got the normal moveset of Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Protect, and Follow Me to protect ally Pokemon. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weebile. We definitely needed a Fake Out Control Pokemon on the team. Consider we have two Pokemon, or actually three Pokemon that can set up. You can set up with the... Uh, what is it? A Torterra with the Leech Seeds. You can set up with the Swords Dance with the Scissor or even the Dragon Dance with Gyarados. So having a Fake Out Pokemon and a Follow Me Pokemon on team really benefits these guys really, really well. We got Fake Out. We got Ice Punch. We got Throat Chop. And we have Icy Wind for Speed Control. We're rocking the Pickpocket ability. And then last but not least, we gave this Pokemon the Focus Ash so it can't die in one shot. But there it is, guys. There's the team preview. Torterra Squad ready to roll. Let's hop to that Coliseum now. Let's grab some wins with it. This is why I love playing BDSP Double Battles. We're going up against some cool off-meta teams. Time to have some fun. We're versing a Raichu Lapras team with Heatran, Blossom, who you never see, Licky Licky, and last but not least, he's rocking Aerodyne. So, so very cool team. Very cool team. I feel like Weavile can get set up here very, very nicely. We got Weavile alongside with Torterra, which wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. We get to show off Torterra a little bit. We get to get roll out with that Pokemon. I am digging that. Or we could go, uh, nah, I'm not going to say Togus. I'd rather go Weavile. Weavile is a little bit better. So we're going to go Tour Terror. We're going to go Weavile. And then we're going to rock out with, hmm, Scizor or Gyarados? Gyarados is looking a little good here. Gyarados is looking tight. Nice. I'm liking Gyarados. And then last but not least, we go Tokus or Scizor. I feel like Arcanine could be good, but right now I don't want Arcanine. Right now I do not want Arcanine. So I'm leaning a bit more towards, like, Togekiss. Ah, yo, Scizor is just too good. <laughs> Scizor is just way too good. We're going to rock out with Scizor. We're going to lock him in. We're going to lock him down. We're going to look and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I'm hoping... He just doesn't lead like Lapras or Heatran. Let my Torterra set up, right? Okay, oh, there's Heatran. I saw the Aerodactyl. I was like, okay, but nah, he leads to Heatran. Um, I could fake it out and set up a nice level of Leech Seed. Get rolling out from there. I am digging that. I am digging that a lot. So, you know what? I'm going to fake this out. And I'm just going to drop... Uh, I'm just going to Leech Seed up onto Aerodactyl. We're just going to seed this lovely little flying bird dinosaur Pterodactyl thing. Let's seed him up. Let's do him dirty. Do them dirty. Seeds are going to be popping. Get these seeds popping. Fake out's going to drop. Yo, send it that way. We're going to make that Pokemon flinch. Aerodactyl's going to go next, and he's going to drop a nice lovely tailwind, which kind of scares me. Definitely kind of scares me. 
definitely kind of scares me. These cheese gonna poke here and we connect it. Beautiful. So Aerodactyl, give me a health, dude. Give me a health. Let's set this boy up. Okay, so from here, uh, what do I do? I could punch up onto that Aerodactyl, but I really just want to keep that Pokemon in here. I might just protect my uh I might just protect my boy and go for a third chop. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect him, waste out a turn. I'm gonna have the uh Lichi kinda just like pester around. And we're just gonna go from there. God dang toward or god dang uh Heatran over here. Definitely scaring me. Rockside's gonna poke. Weavile's gonna be able to eat that up as long as we don't flinch. Definitely gonna be a uh a rock slide slash heat wave kind of thing. There's no flinches from my Weavile. We wanna get off a shot. Oh he actually goes before, I forgot about it. God dang Tailwind. God dang Tailwind. Oh, we've all dodged that. That's cute. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I was gonna say, that is gorgeous that we dodge it. But of course we flinch. Of course we flinch. But it's cool. We're racing out these turns right here. Uh, from here, I could just go for a... Uh... I'm definitely gonna try to go for an EQ here. Yeah, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go for this EQ. We're definitely gonna go for this EQ here. Rockside's gonna poke here. As long as my, my Torterra doesn't flinch here. Weavile's gonna drop out here. We should be able to soak up a what's called no problem. A heat wave, no problem. And then just be able to drop a nice big EQ. Aerodactyl will take some uh leechy damage and then we'll uh get our uh our leftovers. So heat wave flies through and dang, that did actually a lot more than I thought. Torterra's gonna use Earthquake, that's fine. And we're gonna pop it here. And this thing's fucking Shuka Berry. God dang Shuka Berry. Shuka Berry's coming out here. We're still gonna drop that thing, put it down low. That's gorgeous. That's some lovely damage. Lovely damage. And leftovers are gonna poke alongside with each cheats. We're gonna get some HP and then I can just protect the next turn if I really want to. I really like, look at that. Look at that leech seed coming in hot. Coming in hot. Gotta love it. Look at that HP we're just soaking up. We're just soaking up some HP. Look at that. Back up to 59. Love it. Love it. Gotta go in the Gyarados here. Definitely our play call. Protect our Torterra. Try to take out the e -tram. Gotta be my play. Gotta be my play. Gotta be my play. That's lovely. Intimidate's gonna fly. e -tram, you got to go. You gotta go, man. You have got to go. Waterfall's gonna bounce onto you, and I'm just gonna protect him. Gotta protect them all day. All day. I gotta get back as much HP as I can. God dang Heat Train. God dang Heat Train. If we were able to hit that thing with our first throw chop, that thing probably would have been dead. We'll protect our turtle here. Get protected, baby. Get protected. And this thing's gonna drop a taunt. How dare you? Thank God I'm not Dragon Dancing. Okay, cool. Thank God I'm not Dragon Dancing here. He's gonna go for the Heat Wave. That's fine. He can get the burn. If he gets the burn, he gets the burn. We're Lumbered. I'm cool with that. But I'm hoping he doesn't, just so we don't waste our lumber. Just so we don't waste it. Of, co of course, dude. My, my RNG is awful, man. My RNG is awful. It is god awful. Lumber is going to heal us up. Beautiful. Waterfall is going to poke here. We're going to say bye bye to uh, Heat Train. Thank God we didn't Dragon Dance. I was thinking about it, but this thing taunted me, so I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. There we go. Heat Train drops out. Leftovers and Leech Seed's giving us HP again. We might go up the green, dude. Leech Seed is where it's at, dude. You get so much HP back from Leech Seed. Look how much damage we already pestered off of that uh, Aerodactyl. Almost half. Almost half. And we're going to go up from 71 to what? Uh, actually, we were at 59. 59 to 90 because of Leftovers and Leech Seed. God, I love it. And we waste out of Tailwind. So Gyarados could outspeed Aerodactyl, which I don't know if it can. We could just actually dump on it. The Lapras is going to come out here. Lapras is scary. Definitely scary. Definitely scared. We're, we're still gonna, we're gonna go after you, and I'm gonna try to leech seed up on that thing. Or well, I could go for wood hammer. I am gonna go for wood hammer. I'm gonna try to get off as much damage as I can on that thing. Box side's gonna poke here. Both Pokemon are gonna be able to soak. We're just hoping no flinches are out and about. Flinches are bad for us. Gyarados uses waterfall. We're gonna be able to take out Aerodactyl. Get him out. Of cool. Can Torterra outspeed Lapras? That is the real question. Can Torterra outspeed Lapras? Probably not, right? And Freeze Dry's coming in here. We're gonna say bye bye to Torterra. I knew he would do no bueno up against that. No bueno. No good. Okay, so Torterra goes down, and he kind of did some work, yo. He stayed in the battle a while. He just had a lot of Pokemon to counter me. Like I said, the only Pokemon I was worried about, I said this in the beginning, was the Lapras and the Heatran. He's going to bring out Belossum. Belossum. And I'm going to bring out my Skizzy Skizzler. For a nice, lovely 2v2 action here. From here, I could pop a protect. I think I'm just doubling into this Blossom. Put Swords Dance up. I'm gonna double down this blossom, try to take it out. Let's see what he does. Ice Fang's gonna poke here. Yeah, I'll send it that way. And we're gonna chip up a decent amount of damage. I feel like X Scissor should be able to bring that blossom out, right? Yes, sir. Big KO for us. Big time KO for us. Oh, we got a crit. I think I think X Scissor was taken out. I think it was taken out after that Ice Fang. 
gonna drop some life orb damage and what's this Lapras going for? Lapras is gonna go for a freeze dry. That might take me out, right? Yeah. That takes me out. It turns into a 1v1. A big time 1v1. He gets a crit. That was probably taking me out regardless. So I don't have to worry about the crits. I don't have to worry about it. Okay, 1v1 with, with, with my boy Scizor over here. I outspeed, so X Scizor is definitely our play. I could Swords Dance up, but X Scizor should be able to do at least half, right? Should be able to do at least half, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big old damage. What's he going for? Probably Freeze Dry or Hydro Pump? Hydro Pump coming in hot. My boy should be able to soak. It's all day eats, right? It's all day eats, Scizor. Love you, dude. Big time eats. Ooh, and he pops a... He pops a little bit of leftovers, action. Pops a little leftover. So I Sword Dance here? I'm gonna Sword Dance. Maybe read to Protect. He Hydro Pumps, he Hydro Pumps. We should be able to soak it up again. I'm gonna Sword Dance this to X's are out, right? He has no first turn priority. Unless he's rocking Ice Shard. I highly doubt. Hydro Pump comes in here, and it misses anyway. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Great Sword Dance. I figured, uh... He was gonna go for either Hydro Pump or Protect, and if he went for Protect, obviously Sword Dance. Beautiful. But if he went for Hydro Pump, it should have been easy soaks for my boy. Probably brought him down to the red, but we should have been, been able to eat it up, and then we outspeed, and then we just take it out with X as well. But there it is. GG's 1 0 for today's video. Top to our second. Look to go back to back with this amazing Torterra team. Time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number two, and we actually got paired up with the same exact opponent, but lucky us. They got themselves a brand new team, which is awesome. They got Frost Lass, Obama Snow. I should say Snow Cloak, Frost Lass, because it's going to pair well with that uh, Obama Snow Weather. Then he has Heatran, Salamence, Raichu, and Starm. Torterra looks awful. He has a lot of Pokemon that can just counter him up, so I'm not going to go Torterra. I think Arcanine could be a solid lead with Intimidates and all that good stuff. So we're going to go Arcanine for a lead. I might go Weavile as well. Get some Speed Control. Is that what we want? Or I could go like Gyarados. Gyarados could be nice. Gyarados could be nice, or he might lead Raichu, so you know, we're gonna lead Scizor here, we're gonna bring Gyarados in the back end, and then last but not least, I'm leaning more towards Togekiss. I'm liking Togekiss, he has a dragon, there's a few ice Pokemon that could be super effective onto us, but still, Togekiss should be able to rip through it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day, let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's go back to back with this Torterra team. I wish our Torterra in the last battle was able to land at Woodhammer, Lapras outsped us, hit us with the freeze drive, but Woodhammer would have just been sick because we would have did a great amount of damage. But we lead the Arcanine, we lead the lovely little Scissor here too. I think I just have to start snarling up on these uh, special attackers. Probably our best bet. Probably our best bet. But that is the exact reason I led Scissor over Gyarados was because I thought Raichu was definitely a, a lead for this guy. So we made a good call there. We made a good call. call. We're going to snarl here and then I could go into a bull punch. I'm going to go for a sword stance here. He sees me posing a huge threat with Scizor, so he's probably sitting here like, yo, I might have to swap out this Frost Lance. What do I do? So I'm just going to snarl. I am going to uh, try to set up a Sword Dance here as well. But I wonder what he's going to do with Frost Lance. He might protect it. That's something I would do. I would swap him or something, right? He's going to fake out. Okay, cool. I'm going to get up a free Sword Dance then. This thing is going to go for Destiny. Oh, he's Destiny. He's bonding me up. He's bonding me up. Arcanine okay, flinches, obviously, with the fake out. And I'm going to go Swords Dance. Okay, so from here, you know what? I'm just going to attack the Raichu. I'd rather the Arcanine go down than this Swords Dance. Uh, than this Swords Dance, what's it called? Scissor, you know? <laughs> so I'm just going to hit that. And I'm just going to drop a big old Bull Punch right over the Raichu. Even though it's not very effective, I see it rocking the Sash. So might as well just get first turn priority. Get off some damage. But I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. With it all day. You know, these Pokemon are just so good. The Pokemon I'm using, you know, Arcanine is so good. This moveset is phenomenal. Bull Punch gonna fly over here. We're gonna chip up onto you, and we're gonna bring this thing down to low yellow. Low yellow, which is gorgeous, and we're gonna take some life over there. on top of it. Not bad. I'm with that turn all day. He's gonna go for a lovely blizzard. Connects. My Pokemon say, yo, that's a tasty snack. For all sides, get out of my face. No freeze, though. Cool. No freeze to come out here, and this thing's gonna encore me. It's a bullet punch. Thinking I'm going for sword stance. Good thing I did go for up. Uh, or thinking I'm going for, uh, or he was trying to, uh, what's it called? He was trying to encore me into Swords Dance. So good thing we actually went to a bull punch. That worked wonderfully. That worked wonderfully. He cursed bodies me. I might have to swap you. Do I swap him? But you know what? I'm just going to go for Snarl. Take you out with Snarl. And just punch you. I'm with it all day. We're choosing the bull punch now. We're encore into bull punch. Which is totally fine. We're plus two on attack. It's like one of my best moves. Technicians first turn priority. You can't go wrong with being encored into a bull punch on a scissor. So yo, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We still have Gyarados in the back alongside with Togekiss. It's a really good Pokemon. Really, really good Pokemon. Yo, you just see Scissor? You guys haven't seen Scissor's animation, yo. Rewind that like 10 seconds. He like points at the uh 
at the process with his claws. He's like, yo, you next, dude. I'm coming for you. Look at him. Look at him. He's doing it again. <laughs> He's doing it again. He withdraws. Frost has. Hopefully, goes to a special attack. That could be. He's going to go into Heat Check. Beautiful. We'll snarl that thing up right up. We'll snarl him right up. And Bull Punch going to fly. We're going to say, Raju, get on out of my game. So, solid turn for us. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. You could take out my. Uh, you could take out my scissor all day now. Picking up some big damage, doing some big KOs. I'm with it. He, he already got enough done. He got enough done. And we have a Pokemon like Gyarados in the back end to take out. Yo, your boy is thriving here in BDSB. He's thriving. This battle's looking real good for us. Real good for us. I wonder who he's going to go into. Is he going to go back in the Frostlands? I doubt it, right? No, he goes into Obama stuff. <laughs> this game's over. This game is over. Wrap it up. Wrap this game up. Wrap it up right now. We'll snarl again, and we will go into a lovely little bullet punch over on him. Wrap it up. Dude. This one is all over. It's all over. He's going to protect the bomb, so that's totally fine. I'm going to shit out speed uh, heat trying. Maybe we can eat up a Maybe we can eat up a fire move. We might be able to. I know it's four times super effective, but this heat trans is going to be minus two. He's going to be minus two. He's going to obviously drop the heat wave. But minus two? There, there's a shot here. There is definitely a shot for us to eat this one up. Make it happen, Scissor. We're having a miss. He may come through here. Scissor, you got this, right? Nah, no shot. <laughs> Scissor can't even eat up a, a fire move when he's minus two. God dang, Scissor. Love him, though. I love him, though. Buff is going to fire. Is my cursed body almost up? I hope so, because I would love to drop a nice little fire. Uh, but from here, we can just go into uh, Togi. Or not Togi, it's Gyarados here. Because once we get rid of the C-Tran, it's GG's Togi's can pretty much just up everything else. But yeah, we're, we're thriving here. We are thriving. I can't go into a flamethrower, which is bunge, yo. really want my flamethrower, because I can just take out this uh, the bomb center, no problem. It's four times super effective. On me. Right? Yeah, we're cursed body, man. We're disabled. But we'll snarl again. We'll go into a waterfall. I could Dragon Dance. I was thinking about it. But let's see what he does. He doesn't even protect. So waterfall was a good call. Later, he trained. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. Gen 1 Pokemon squad right here. Gyarados Arcanine. Fire. The fire squad right here. Snarl's going to poke out here. Special attack shop. Lovely on us. Actually, he could roll a physical attack move. But most of them roll a special attack with a blizzard. All that good stuff. Let's see. Yeah, blizzard. That's easy eats, baby. Easy eats with that thing. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. No freezes. Cool. No freezes. We had a Lumberry on our characters anyway. And that's going to wrap it up. He's going to have to bring out Frost Ass. We'll Snarl again. Snarl will take out the... Uh, ooh. Actually, our Flamethrower is not disabled anymore. So I'm going for Flamethrower now. <laughs> Even though I think our opponent probably cancels battle. Yo, we've just been dominating this one. And steamrolling them left and right. Yeah, so we'll Flamethrower onto the bomber cell, And then we'll just... We'll just over. Waterfalls are play. We'll have some fun. A little Flamethrower action. Later, bomber Snow. And you know, we'll Ice Fang, just rub it in his face. It's not very effective, but still. We just want to use this one, just because we can. He's going to Destiny Bond me. That's fine. You can Destiny Bond me all day. Both your Pokemon are dead this turn. It's over with. No matter. Gyarados, Ice Fang. Uh, get him out of here. <laughs> the disrespect. The disrespect. We Ice Fang him, he's dead. And my Gyarados is going to drop out here due to Destiny Bond. God dang it. Bye, Gyarados. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. See you next fall. And then Arcanine comes in here, and we know his flamethrower is absolutely dumping on this bomb. So, bomb so get on out my game. There it is, yo. GG's 2-0. Oh. Let's go find ourselves a brand new opponent and look to grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. We got ourselves a real test for battle number three. Look at this dude's team. Jirachi and Garatina squad with Dust Noir. Uh, what is that? Fortress? Is that, that his name? I believe it's that. It's Pineco Second Stage. I, I think it's Fortress. Something along those lines. And then he has Mime, or Mr. Mime, if you guys want to call him that. I call him Mime. And then Mammo Swine. Okay, we got a real test here. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Weavile can be type nice here. I like Weavile in a lot of these situations. So Weavile's going to come in here. Um, who else are we going to lead? We could lead Torterra. We could lead Arcanine. We're going to lead Torterra. We're going to have some fun with this one. Go Torterra. I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back end. Wait, do I bring Arcanine? And that could be solid. But just like this snarls to fire damage, I really do like him there. I really do like him there. And then last but not least, I feel like Scissor is an absolute must, right? Scissor's looking real good. I'm going to bring Scissor here. We're going to lock it in. We're locking it down. And I really want this win here. Just for the perfect record and in order to take out Legendaries. Because you guys know, it's always a good time when your boy's taking out Legendaries. So, we'll see who he leads. Mine Jr. and Manny the Mammo Mammo Swan. Which is kind of tough for my Torterra. We do not like that one. Better. So, that's going to happen. And in this case, we're just going to fake out you. And we're going to set up our lovely little seeds. Actually, you know what? Get this dude out of my face. Get this dude out of my face. 
We're not dealing with Mammoth Swine. We're not dealing with Mammoth Swine. I'd rather just take it out here with the Fake Out. Fake Out, mwah, clap. And then my Mime's gonna go for what? What's Mime going for? Oh no, we outspeed Mime, which is beautiful. Wood Hammer Fly Server. Torterra, baby! Torterra with some huge damage. That's some huge damage. I'd rather do that than set up a Leech Seed. 100% my play. Loving it all day. Just not dealing with that Ace Pokemon with Torterra on the field. I'm just gonna go for a Trick Room. It's fine. He tricks the room up. Okay. Actually helps out my Torterra a little bit. Actually helps out my Torterra just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Not a whole bit, but a tad bit. We'll take it all day. Let's see what he rolls into. I feel like Garatine is coming out here. I don't know why. I feel like Garatine is time, time to you, right? I think we're gonna see it. No, Fortress comes out. Fortress. Fortress? Fortress? Whatever you guys want. Okay, so he's gonna do that uh, from here. This punch is an absolute must. Get right on you. And I'm gonna lead cheat, actually. I feel like Mime can't really do much besides like set up shrines. You know what? I'm just gonna throw chop over on him. I'm gonna set up a lovely little lead cheat over on you. Lovely little lead cheat over on you. We can use Gyro Ball. Ooh, that's coming in hot. Yeah, we, luckily, we have that lovely little Focus Ash. What's Mime going for? Weavile obviously goes last in Trick Room. We're just hoping we get off like a turn with this thing. And we pickpocket his item, which is gorgeous. We take its Iron Ball. So we are slower now, which is gorgeous. We might be slower than that, uh... We might be slower than that Mime now. And there we go. Lead Seed set up, which is gorgeous. And now we're slower than the Mime. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous, yo. The pickpocket coming in hot. The pickpocket coming in hot. So he sets up a reflect. I'm totally cool with that. We got my voice setting up. Torterra is about to tear this place down with leftovers and leech seeds. Look at that. Mime, give me that HP all day. We'll take that HP all day, yo. I love it so much because you start falling low. You, like, get a leech seed leftover turn and then protect and repeat it. You get it back so much HP. But let's roll out from here. We're just going to go straight into another throw chop here. I could chop an EQ. Hmm. I feel like Fortress might take out my Weavile, so we're just gonna go for that. Yeah. Oh no, it goes out goes into that slot. Wow. It goes into that slot. And then of course Torterra goes before Weavile. Wow. That's fine. We'll EQ. We'll take out our own Weavile, even though I wish I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. What's mine going for? Maybe a light screen setup? Let's see. It has some gleam. Gleam. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take we'll, we'll we'll soak that up and then we'll take our leftovers and lead seed and roll this battle out. Torterra is where it's at, dude. If you can get him up against Pokemon like this, he thrives. He thrives. Just any like any non-fire or non-ice Pokemon, he thrives. We were able to take out that Mammoth Swine, set him up like this, and it's working perfectly. It is working perfectly. But from here, Scissor could come in hot. Scissor could pretty much clean up this battle, right? Yeah. Let's roll out Scissor. Let's roll out. Actually, I probably should roll out Arcanine and just left this Mammoth or just uh, Mime just chilling on the stage, right? Probably should have been in play. But maybe Mime might protect. Go into a bull punch. Anyway, and we'll go for uh we'll lead seed this thing. I don't think it's grass typing, right? It's steel. It's steel and something else. Is it steel and bug? I can set up a lead seed on the on this slide. It should be great up up against a Pokemon like him who's super bulky with a reflect going on. Let's see what he does, yo. Mime's mime yeah, mime's animation just cracked me up. Just mime straight on the wall, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love that in Legend's Arceus, he would just be standing there, like, in the middle of the field. Just, like, tapping up on the invisible wall. That's hilarious. Or he'd be sitting on his leg, which is so funny. He just swap in Dustin Water, and he did not bring his Legendary. So, you know what? Round of applause this guy. Round of applause to that guy. No Legendaries. He first me shows items. That's cool. We're just going to go for Protect. That's a fine Protect. That's a fine Protect. Just a dandy Protect. Bull Punch going to fly through here. Oh, uh, he turned it that way. We're chipping up some good old damage. Some good old damage. Elite Seed is gone, though, which is sad. But at least we still have our leftovers to soak up some. And this thing has leftovers as well. How dare you? How dare you be rocking leftovers? That's my thing. That is my thing. We'll take this up. We still have... Uh, who do we have in the back end? Was it Gary the Gyarados? No, it's Togi the Togekiss. Okay. I'm with this. I'm with this. We're going for... uh, go for uh, maybe an X Scissor. Ah, oh, yeah. Bull Punch call. Bull Punch over in Dustin Water. Chipping up some more damage. And we are sending the seeds once again over into Fortress. Fortress. Such cool Pokemon, though. I always like it, but you don't see, like, Pineco or Fortress anywhere. Bull Punch flying. Yo, you're finishing down past half. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We're waiting for this Reflect to kind of end. Reflect is a pain. And Trick Room's still out of bags. Oh, dude, this thing's rocking Ice Punch! 
What a coverage move. What a did me dirty with that coverage move. Ice Punch coming in hot. This thing's going to go into a revenge. Wow. Avenging me. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, we have Tokus on the field. Trick Room should be ending soon. I'm terrified of that Gyro Ball coming in from that uh, Fortress. Don't like it one bit. Trick Room does end. Oh, no, we don't have Togus. Why do I think we have Togekiss? Arcanine. Okay, that's gorgeous. Even better. Because Togekiss would not thrive well with these guys. Would not pair well. Arcanine's going to fly out here. Intimidate's going to come across. Dustin War is rocking a physical attack and move, so it's good for us. Why do I think we have Togekiss? I don't know why. I don't know why. But this works 10 times better for us. I'm with it all day. Full Punch going to fly here and a Flamethrower. Flamethrower should be able to take it out. And we should be able to outspeed with Trick Room not here anymore. But I do believe Dustin Noir is going to set. So we probably should have went into a, a sword stance here. Would have been better, but I'm not worried about the mine as long as we have the scissors showing. The bull punch flies. Flamethrower should go next and just say, hey yo, Fortress, get out of my game, right? Flamethrower, oh, uh, send it this way. Feel later. Cool. Get that thing out of my face. If we had Tokus, we would have been sitting in such a rough position. Fortress would have been able to soak up whatever we had. He kind of just dumped all my Pokemon. He's rocking Fire Punch, and that's going to take me out. We're going to lose this battle. The battle is not looking good for us. This thing is rocking the best coverage moves ever. The best coverage moves ever. Fire Punch and Ice Punch. Doing me dirty. Okay, so he's going to bring out Mime. I think for, I think we just start snarling to death, right? Yeah, it's got to be my play. We have a Guap Berry. Right? Snarl's got to be your play. We still have a shot here. We still have a nice little shot. So Snarl coming in hot. Two special, actually one's physical. Good burn. I think we're going to just start Snarl and see how much damage you can do up against Dustin War. Because two of them might be able to take him out. And if that's the case, I don't mind just keep sending him. The is already minus one. He has Fire Punch. He has Ice Punch. It's fine. And that does a decent amount of damage, but I think we need a little bit more in the tank. Yeah, because he's going to left over. So we're going to need two more here. Take out Dustin War. Dustin War. Mime's going to get that special attack job. This one's going to come close. It's going to come closer than I think it is going to be. Go for dude, this thing's just ripping with me. No paralyzers. Well, I'm gonna go for a trick room. Okay, smart play by him. Trick room out and about. Trick room out and about. Leftovers poking here. God dang, leftovers. Mmm. This is tough. This is real tough. We might have to burn the dust tomorrow. I think we might do that next turn. Depends how much damage we can do. If we can take him out with another snarl next turn, we thrive. And he's gonna thunder punch again. We, we soak that. Just no paralyze. Cool. This thing's kind of oh no, <laughs> a light screen. How dare you? Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to burn that uh, we're gonna have to burn that dust tomorrow here. Definitely burn the next turn. Cause we're about doing the same amount of damage as his uh leftovers. Give him back. We gotta burn the boy. Gotta give him the spicy little burn. Oh, no, dude, we still have the guav berry, which could be good for us. Dude, this battle, I think, it's gonna be really really close. Really, really close. Burn coming in hot. Burn coming in hot. I was going to go for a flamethrower, but I was just like, no, we need the burn. Flamethrower is going to do like no damage here. Thunder Punch is going to fly. Please don't paralyze. That's all we're hoping for. Cool. Gleam's going to fly through here. It's easy. Soaks for my boy. Wow. I actually did a lot more than I thought it would. That's why it was a critical hit. Get out of my face, dude. Not dealing with it. Willow is connects here. We do have protect. We do have protect here. We do have protect, but I don't want to protect just yet because we still have the guap berry, which is, just, which is just lovely. So I think from here we snarl out. Just let the burn start chipping away. Reflect does wear out. Guap berry is going to trigger after his thunder punch, which is going to be gorgeous. Which is going to be gorgeous. Here's thunder punch. Easy soak, baby. Guap berry time. Yes, sir. A guap berry. <laughs> Look at that. Give me more HP. Back up to green, baby. Back up to green. I'm just gonna go for Gleam. As long as he doesn't get crits, it's easy soak. So look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, Jesus is arriving here. Snarl coming in hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more snarl, dude. One more snarl, and this dust and water goes out. And then we can start flame throwing across, and Light Screen should be ending soon. Actually, and this might be a light clean, uh, mine. So the Reflex get out here for a while. Sir, yo, Burn's definitely clutching up for us. Burn's huge for us. The Burn just neglects the, uh, Leftovers damage, but we're gonna snarl again. We're gonna slowly just pass around this. Arcanine coming in clutch so far. He's gonna go for another Thunder Punch. No paralyzes. Yo, we're just hoping to no paralyze comes out here. Beautiful Gleam's gonna fly. No crits, right? Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. No, <laughs> dude. 
That's the one I really dodged that. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face, dude. That's the one I really dodged that. Is Shukum gone? It is gone. Okay, cool. We go first. Snarl again. Snarl to victory, dude. We're snarling the victory. Take this dust noir out of here. Bang, 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 yo. Let's go. Let's go. Dust noir, get out my game. I'm sorry to our opponent. Our opponent's probably so, like, he's definitely hurting here. He's definitely very upset. Definitely very upset. He's going for the gleam. We eat no crits, baby. All day, all day. He's doing, like, six damage. Oh, dude, that's it. That's game over. King just did it. Your boy just clutched it up. Arcanine clutching it up. Can't go wrong with that one. Cancel battle. It's not canceled. Playing third Pokemon out here. Later, Mr. Mime. Get this dude out of my game. Get him out of here. There it is, yo. Long drawn out third and final battle. Your boy clutches up and grabs you guys the perfect record. What a set of battles for today's video. 3-0, grabbing ourselves yet another perfect record for BDSP double battles. Torterra was absolutely amazing. Definitely fun to use. We got the lead sheet set up. We got to show off a little bit of wood hammer action, dumping on that mammoth swine, and just showing off this team to its fullest potential. Scissor and Gyarados obviously did a bunch of the heavy lifting, doing some big damage as they are big damage physical attackers. Then Arcanine was definitely clutched up in battle number three with those stuff. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.